Hey, Cali gang. Cheers. All right, let's get to it. So, for this reaction, Jackson, all right, we are going to be reacting to Krishan revealing that Young Miami tried to recruit her for Diddy's harem, all right? Because y'all remember, um, I want to say a uh, little while ago now, that when Krishan initially made her way onto the scene, all right, she was invited uh, to Diddy parties and Young Miami was inviting her all these places. So we're going to get into it. Allegedly, she thinks that Young Miami was trying to recruit her. Um, Cause y'all remember when she was at that Diddy party and he like kept giving her kisses on the cheeks and stuff and yeah, so let's get into it. Um, a part of me maybe thinks that might have happened, but who knows? All right, and what do you guys think of everything that's going on with Diddy? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna say this: everything that's been going on has been said for years. Number one. Number two, we've just been waiting on evidence of some kind, all right? And number three, I feel like she may be a little bit right. But who knows? So let's get into it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and bell notifications. So now if I when I post, we are on our road to a thousand subscribers. Y'all, we are so close, so close. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Ah, let's go. It's 10 minutes, so. Would you So, hold the phone. You mean to tell me he went into the bathroom, was doing his business or about to go to the restroom or whatever, and a girl gets in behind you, gropes you, and forces herself down on you. I have heard this situation happen before with multiple guy friends of mine and an ex or two when they told me a story about a few things. And coming from my perspective... Push them off, kick them off, like do whatever you can to get them off of you. But I will say this, if he would have pushed her, punched her or anything like any form of like injury, he would have been in the wrong. He would have been the bad guy. He would have been named an abuser. He would have just been drugged through the mud. 
But since the girl is assaulting the guy, people don't take it seriously, number one. Number two, they don't look at it as anything. And number three, they're like, oh, a girl forced herself on you. What guy is ever going to stop that, right? But it all comes down to one, self-control. Two, you know, it sucks as he was under the influence. So, I mean, he couldn't consent to anything. But, I mean, what man is going to stop you from going down on them even if he consented or not you know what I mean but it just it just sucks the situation is crazy it sucks but I just had to get that out but let me know what do you guys think has this ever happened to you guys in the comments let me know like has this ever happened has a girl tried to like force herself on you and you kind of like backed off or did you kind of just like accept it after a while and just kind of let it happen like what what was it like I'm trying to figure it out I'm trying to figure it out restroom only to be followed by Miami's cousin who then allegedly undressed and attempted to straddle him and have intercourse with him in front of Diddy and others. He also exposed Miami for receiving monthly payments from Diddy as a reward for servicing him girls for his parties. He said young Miami was among those who were paid a monthly fee by Diddy to work as his ex-workers. He went on to attach a few images from that night and as y'all can see Miami and her cousin as well as Diddy were having a wild time. As if the allegations couldn't get any worse, Miami is now also being accused of transporting pink coke for Diddy, which she would usually bring to him on her private jet. This was revealed in that extended version of Lil Rod's lawsuit. Robin Greenhill, the accountant, would ensure the wiring, funds transfer, or cash payments to ex-workers. Frankie Santella, Moy Bon, Brendan Paul, and KK would also be responsible for ensuring payment to ex-workers in cash. Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' ex-workers and received a payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill, which outlined defendants' ongoing criminal operation. Once all this information started rolling in, Carlissa decided to insert herself into it. When she revealed on IG Live that young Miami actually tried to recruit Krishan to be an ep at Diddy's freak offs. She said there was once a time when Miami started to get real close with Krishan and started taking her out all the time, but never really knew why. However, with everything that's come out about Diddy, she's now putting two and two together, and she believes that Miami was working on Diddy's orders to recruit Krishan. They was trying to recruit um, Krishan. That, that's what that's what Diddy and uh, what's the, what's the girl Krishan Krish, Krishan was trying to recruit from. Remember that when they was heavily trying to get Rock to hang out with them. I think they was trying to recruit her. She got a lot going on. We're gonna talk about it on this podcast. We're gonna get to the nitty gritty, of all the gritty of the nitty, because it's it, it's necessary. I think them was trying to recruit her. Cause they remember they just had her pulling up everything. They did, and they did. Yeah, remember, see what I'm saying? Uh, we gonna, we gonna, this podcast is going to be, because I don't know the mama know everything and everybody is. So we going to find out on this podcast. We ain't going to talk no about nobody. We ain't going to watch nobody. But we definitely going to explore the possibilities that was going on. Because they kept calling her. Remember, pull up to the birthday party. Come over here and dance on Carisha. Remember that? I feel like they was trying to recruit that baby. Mm. Mm. Now, how about that? We're going to explore all the possibilities. 
Initially, people thought Carlissa was just trying to clout chase and get some attention from this whole mess since she said she was going to be getting into it on her podcast. But it didn't take long for people to dig out the receipts that proved that Miami was on the hunt for Krishan. People found a video of Krishan at one of Diddy's parties where he kept leaning over and kissing her face. Krishan looked very visibly uncomfortable and confused, so she tried to smoothly move back, but he was holding her very strong. In the same video, you could see her throwing it back at Karisha, and they both seductively danced together. As if this wasn't weird enough, there's also this video from January, where Krishan was narrating the time that Diddy jacked up the producer of Fatty's, Lamel Plummer. She said Diddy invited her and Lamel to his private room which was behind his actual house. This is the place where a lot of the secret things happen, so no phone was allowed in, and Lamel wasn't allowed to bring security. Krishan said that as soon as she and Lamel got inside, Diddy was immediately aggressive off rip and grabbed Lamel by his collar. Apparently, Diddy was upset at Lamel because he was underpaying Krishan for being on baddies. Now, I was at first confused as hell when I heard this, because what does her being underpaid by Lamel have to do with Diddy? However, considering the fact that, that Diddy was just trying to get Krishan to become one of his little ass people think this was just a stunt by Diddy to make Krishan feel like she was safe in his hands. But Krishan also said after that day, she and Lamel started having problems, but he did start to pay her better. So, I set a price. I said 200000 You said 100 I said 150 I'm not going underneath that. Because, what? I'm about to bring a lot to the table. That little party I went to, the city party, we went to the uh, little private area behind the, uh, because he had a house behind his house. Like he had a house, a backyard with a, his backyard with a fat bed, and then it had like a miniature little whatever. And then we, me and Wimmy go upstairs, they tell him that he can't break his security. He went in like a little, we got no security, so it's just me and Wimmy. We go up in there, hold on. We go up in there. We go upstairs. He's like, what's up, baby? Um, you know, you, you met Sean and uh, you, uh, gave her kisses on the cheek. Uh, early, early on in the party or whatever. Uh, we just wanted to follow up. Uh, I'm glad that you, you Sean. And then he grabbed Lindy by his neck. It was like, but do you? Where? Like, don't play with her. All she needs is love. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. So as y'all can see, Diddy and Miami were really working overtime to recruit Krishan, yeah. but it never worked out. Krishan just isn't as naive as they thought she was. As if this wasn't already disturbing enough, the rumors are now going around that the reason why Diddy even had his eyes set on Krishan in the first place was because Lamel had been servicing some of the girls from baddies to rich men, including Diddy, in exchange for money. This isn't the first time these rumors now that i completely agree i completely think that's true um word on the curve is back in the day when Danity kane was around he wanted to use them as escorts for all his friends and producers in the industry so i completely i completely think this is true i completely think this is true this is crazy well, it's just crazy, but yeah, all of this unraveling is showing all these people in a whole new light, all right? It's crazy and gross and young Miami, you're disgusting if you were helping him, you know, get girls to come back to the house. He was basically trying to be like a Hugh Hefner in the music industry, if we're going to be honest. And they were friends, I think, in real life. Because I know Diddy did, I think, a music video at the mansion. So I think Diddy saw how Hef was and he wanted to mimic that. But, like, for the music industry, you know what I mean? What do you guys think? Let me know if you agree. Am I on to something? I don't know. But, yeah, sorry. We're almost done with the video. Come up. But judging this entire situation with Krishan, it looks like there's some truth to it. People even claim some of these girls get sent off to Africa to do freaky stuff with some of these politicians. Not only now, as usual, people have their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, 
That's what I've been saying. Diddy used to work side by side with Lenny. Lenny used Batty's cats for trafficking and smuggling. And a few months ago, Diddy pulled away from Zeus Network and Nick Cannon was the replacement. So Lenny won't be behind bars. Another person said, Now that I've read up on all this Diddy stuff, I knew it was a reason my stomach turned when I seen him complimenting Krishan and all in her ear at that event. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Young Miami almost recruiting Krishan? And do y'all think Krishan will be coming out to spill the tea soon about what happened? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Y'all, so, excuse me. I completely think that Young Miami was trying to recruit Krishan. Let's just keep it real. Um, Diddy's a man at the end of the day. Um, most of these industry men will stick their thing in anything. All right. Um, <clears throat> I get the vibe that Diddy is the type of guy that always has to be number one, always has to be at the top, has to have like the thing that everyone is talking about. And at the time that Krishan was, you know, getting invited to all these places with Diddy or Young Man was hitting her up or whatever, she was a little hot commodity. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I completely think Young Miami helped with that. Um, and I completely think that, uh, Lemuel from, uh, Zeus was helping Diddy and trying to get the girls from the shows to, you know, help the, uh, richer stay satisfied, I guess. Um, it's sad, it's gross, it's disgusting. If Young Miami did help, uh, help or entertain or um, lead women into the wrong unsafe space. I hope she goes to jail or a prison or something for it because that's not right. It's terrible. And it's so crazy because if you notice in the clip from earlier where it shows Krishan dancing on Young Miami, she has the white nails. The infamous white nails, okay? Everybody knows. All right, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think he was really trying to get her to, you know... Be one of them, many of his harem, or do you think it was just, oh, he knows that she's a hot commodity right now, so he's going to try to swoop in and, you know, get her under his wing, um, but who knows, and yeah, I just hope that everyone involved in the shadiness and the wrongdoing gets gets their just desserts, they get a slice of humble pie, all right? Um, I just can't, um, your girl's kind of excited to see what else gets exposed, because we want to see this curtain fully lift up, like, we, we're over, we're over the mystery, we are done with the, we're done with the smoke and mirrors, like, we want to see the real, all right, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, please like, comment, subscribe, bell notifications, so you know if I just want to post it up to date, bye y'all.